Well, hello everybody, and uh, uh, welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, my name is Peter Drakulic, and in this quick tip, I would like to show you a very good, a very useful, rather tip for uh, customizing for customizing your uh, uh, the way you interact with uh, GIMP. All right. Uh, usually, we work uh, with GIMP using uh, the keyboard and the mouse. Perhaps you have a tablet, uh, a welcome uh, welcome uh, tablet as well. Um, uh, but in our case, uh, let, let's see how we can link uh, certain uh, certain uh, uh, properties or certain tools, okay, and certain actions uh, of the interface to link them with the what we call input devices, which in our case are the keyboard and the mouse. So let's go ahead and open a new file, file new from up here, or equally you can press Control N and a new. Uh, dialog pops up and you, let's leave the settings as they are uh, for the moment click OK and we're presented with a brand new you know uh, you know uh, document here and we we'll want to uh, and let me let me show you uh, what I have done if I, I go ahead and, and select my brush tool from the tools up here okay if I if I selected the brush tool, you can see that uh, you can uh, set the size of the brush from down here from this slider by scrubbing the slider here okay but uh, I have uh, you know I can also uh, set the size of the brush if you uh, if you uh, take a look at the screen and uh, especially this reading here I'm uh, I'm uh, increasing and decreasing the size of the brush using my mouse wheel well this is not the default uh, uh, de behavior of GIMP you know I if you now go ahead and try this uh, in your own uh, copy of GIMP uh, normally it shouldn't be possible I mean to change the radius of the brush the size of the brush by using the scroll wheel of your mouse so how can you do this let me show you first go up here to the edit uh, to the menu bar, edit menu, and go head over to the uh, preferences, and the preferences dialog pops up. Now head over to the input devices and input controllers. Click on that. Now here it is a list of the available controllers, and here it is a list of those controllers that are active, which is my main mouse wheel, all right, and the main keyboard. I want to link the uh, the uh, the scrolling of the mouse wheel to the uh, to the change of the of the radius of my brush size so i want to work with m the, my mouse wheel so double click on that uh, on this main mouse wheel all right and a new dialog pops up all right here you can see that we have on the left column we have the a list of the events that have to do with scrolling our mouse wheel in combination sometimes with uh, by uh, uh, with uh, pressing uh, and uh, clicking and holding down some other uh, keys as you can see so we have a combination of uh, key shortcuts here and we have the actions of the scroll uh, scroll um, uh, wheel so on the right column you have uh, on the left column you have the events on the right column you have the actions so actually what should i have and as an actions as an action uh, if i did a scroll up well you can read the here it says tools paint brush uh, size decrease so actually when i'm scrolling up my mouse wheel the action that will take place will be to uh, decrease the, uh, the 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 size of the brush so uh, in order to edit this and in order to edit all the rest of them if you if you if you wish the, this here it is the way how to do this just click on this um, you know uh, on this uh, here on this line here and click go down here and press edit so now you can select for this certain event right which is the scroll up which is highlighted by the way you can select from a whole bunch of you know tools you can link this event uh, with uh, and actions actually you can link this event with right so from all this list go to the brush tool somewhere you, you will find this uh, uh, through uh, scrolling up and down the list and you can even search by going up here and say for example decrease 
So you are actually filtering the information and now the information of this list uh, of actions for the for the tools and uh, you have now uh, you have now only the actions that have to do have to do with decreasing the brush uh, you know or the ink uh, size etc so you can link now select one of, of the of the list let's say we want it to select the decreased brush size all right so click ok and now you have linked this event of scrolling up your mouse wheel to the action of decreasing the size of your brush and go uh, further down to the scroll down perhaps all right and i have set this to tool paint brush size increase this time edit this one again select from the list the uh, type increase here if needed so type increase increase all right and you have filtered now only the tools that contain the word increase uh, so you can easily find the brush so if you go ahead and, and add the word brush you lim you are limiting your uh, you know your index here into those uh, few items and so increase brush angle increase brush angle more increase br increase brush size okay so okay and now i have linked this action of scrolling down my mouse wheel to the tooth paint brush uh, uh, excuse me to the tools paint brush size increase uh, action so this event will uh, has a feedback will have as a feedback this action so now let's go ahead and uh, click now close close the window click ok all right and let's uh, let me show you an, uh, yet another example this time with the keyboard let's let's say we wanted to link the event of uh, pressing the up and down arrows arrows on my keyboard to the to the uh, brush inc the increase and decrease uh, to the change of the radius of the brush anyways so again go to edit preferences all right the preferences pop-up dialog uh, pop-ups pops up and input controllers this time we want to work with main keyboard so double click on the main keyboard and here it is a list of events on the left column for your main keyboard and on the right the actions that are linked to some of them so let's say I wanted to go ahead and find the uh, cursor uh, cursor uh, up. Okay, here it is. I can see that it is not linked to any uh, to any uh, action uh, whatsoever. So that's an ideal for me to link uh, this event to some action. So always please check that this uh, this uh, you know little check mark here it is enabled. This uh, the enable this controller. That, uh, uh, what it says here it is enabled always check the, for this okay this is very important so having selected my event cursor up edit and i'm presented with all the uh, you know the the familiar list with all the uh, you know the actions which i can have in gimp so i want to head over to tools and if needed i can uh, you know uh, search by filtering by uh, say by uh, by writing, uh, by typing, excuse me, increasing, increase brush. So I have uh, effectively limited my uh, list. All right, increase brush angle. No, increase brush size. So click on that. Okay. So I have linked this. All right. And also I have linked, linked this event to this action. Now go to curse down and select this event, edit, again the list. Again, type decrease brush this time. All right, you here it is the filter it uh, list decrease brush size. Okay, all right, and click now. I have linked this event to this action. Click click now close and okay. Now if you go to your uh, you know image window and if I if you pressed the up arrow, you can see that you can change the size. All right, and you can see this reading here on the left here on the size to change and if you press this uh, the down arrow you can uh, you can uh, uh, decrease actually the size of your brush so that was my quick tip for today i hope you enjoyed it of course don't forget you can uh, do the same uh, you know repeat the same process for any other event and action available in gimp so you can really customize your GIMP experience uh, at the maximum level 
and make GIM to work the way you want it to work. And that was for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with a hopefully interesting topic, hopefully soon. Until then, have fun and goodbye.